are ready with the speaker.
has become as necessary as breathing. The smartphone is king in this market, even with the 10 billion mobile devices in use this year globally. Video and photo is the fastest growing category in the glut world of nearly 2 million apps. Even companies like Facebook and Amazon are merging their interests with videos and photos. We live in a world where the content shared on social networking sites is through the roof, am I correct? And we know that most of the content being shared is on a smartphone. The smartphones owned by our market segments, the Generation X's, the Millennials, the Techno Boomers, the on-the-go teenagers, is close to about 700 million. This is our addressable target opportunity for 2014. We plan to modestly target about 1.43%, uh, roughly about 10 million users. We're going to use a marketing campaign and value pricing in 36 months. But we went beyond the forecasting and we went into market validation. We did some surveys on uh, Monkey Survey and ProSurvey.com and we found tremendous interest in users wanting to enhance their videos and their pictures prior to sharing. But it got better. 57% of them would pay more than a dollar. And this confirmed our, our forecast. We validated it a little bit further by doing a case on one of our closest competitors in the marketplace, Magisto. Magisto is, does what we're trying to do, but they're a bit more complicated, and by no means it's one single click. They, within 19 months of their inception, they grew to about 5 million users, and with some cash infusion, and some marketing and target, targeting emerging markets that grew, I'd say, about 25 million users within, say, the next 12 months. Our targets are very conservative and looking very good in comparison. We plan to do a marketing campaign where we're going to pay our social networking influencers to aid us in the brand creation. This is how it's going to work. If you upload a video that's been enhanced by click and share to a, self, a social networking site, the more hits you get, the more money and prizes you can win. And that's just one of our promotional efforts. We're also going to try to have alliances, obtain alliances with mobile device manufacturers. And in a part of our vision later on, we also plan to do like an artist marketplace where artists can come and get their videos professionally um, fixed. And after that target is met, we plan to establish some long-term partnerships with social networking sites. And all this is very, it, it can materialize with our dynamic group. We have a group here that they have a can-do attitude, and our co-founders here have strong backgrounds in business finance, uh, product management, marketing, engineering. They understand the vision. And they're willing to even take a discounted salary and put in a lot of sweat equity in the first few years. For the, for the startup, we are basically planning to grow a little bit slower initially. And by second and third year, we plan to exceed our forecasts. I'm a very detailed person, so even in putting together the income statement, we did it from a weekly level. And our CEO and tech innovators wanted to leverage the cloud partnerships so as to reduce the cost of revenue. And we also made a conscious effort to reduce the operating expenses as well. And given our mix, our product mix of the 3064.4, we are still able to come up with a cumulative net income of $100 million. Our cash flow factors in that initial amount, and we're cash positive. What we're bringing is an exciting opportunity for the investment community in exchange for 8% preferred stock equity. Um, we plan to give back $7 million for our initial startup investment of $740,000. And that's a huge return. So tell that to your, your bankers or your investment advisors. I'd be curious to see what they'd say. Thank you.
What is it going to cost you to acquire each customer? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? What is it going to cost you per customer to acquire them? It's going to, well, when we're doing the partnership with, uh, the, with the cloud partners, with Amazon, for example, it's going to cost us, I would say, on average, um, 6%, which it estimates about $0.06 cents per customer. Do you have a dollar figure? Uh, I would say about $20, $23. And that customer is going to give you how much revenue over a year? Oh, there's three different plans. Um, there's the silver plan, which is basically if we've been trying to get them to, to upgrade to a gold or a platinum. The gold plan, we're charging them $2.99 uh, per year, and the platinum, we're going to charge them $8.99 per year. And there's limitations for each plan in terms of how many images they can enhance or, or videos. I, I have one question as far as how the software actually works. Um, when you're editing the, uh, the, the software or, in, or enhancing it, um, do you actually, are you downloading the video onto your servers? It, it's a cloud service, but I'm going to pass that over to Anne. And, and further, where I'm driving on that is towards security, um, as far as sharing of, of pictures and videos, which you have. Yeah, yeah um, the information would be on the, in the cloud. We're going to have servers based in the cloud. Everything's going to be encrypted. We have heavy duty security. We're going to use something like Amazon Web Services. So we know that they have that security built in. So during that time when the video is being enhanced, it is in fact being stored there as is your information about your social network sites. I just wanted to go back, to go back to that previous question and uh, just, just ask for some clarification on Jeff's question. So uh, what's, the, what's the lifetime value of these customers that you're, you're saying they're costing 23 bucks to get? In your projections, you show pretty significant levels of returns for the investors and yourselves, what is that predicated on? How much lifetime value per consumer? We establish a, a very low churn rate, so that means longevity and not long haul. We established a, a churn rate of 6%. We did a 4% for the middle plan, which is a gold plan, and a 2% for the platinum. And um, that's factoring in repeat subscription renewals. So I'm guesstimating based on what I projected, I would say average two or three years. And we're trying to expand it. We're going to do more promotions to try to keep them and, you know, keep the spice it up a little bit. And so so just, just to be clear, in, in terms of the overall value of a consumer that it's costing you 23 bucks to get, when you get, when you reach your scale as pre predicted, how, how much value will each customer bring into the organization? Um, I would say the average estimate um, return would be a good 74%. Okay. That would be like a profit margin right there, for the first year at least. For, do you have a, a, an idea, um, let's say at the end of year one, how many will be on the free plan, the $2.99 and the $8.99? I would imagine the majority will be free, right? Got it, yes. And are so there we're thinking... Any, Oh, sorry, go ahead. We're, we're thinking a, a mix of like a, a 64%, 30 and a 6 to begin with. Okay. And will there be any other um, revenue derivation from the free, um, your free universe advertising or any other, um, anything else that you might sell them, any other services? Absolutely. On a basis? Absolutely. Um, from the amount of users that we projected, and again, just benchmarking a bit against uh, Magisto's exponential growth, um, we're going to try to get them to test out our audit artist marketplace. And we're also going to try to grow our user base using uh, or forming alliances with our mobile device manufacturers. You know, when, when uh, they take the device and they go to take a picture, it's going to have a prompt saying, you know, would you like to, would you like to enhance it prior to sharing? And that's what we're going to try to accumulate or grow. And um, after that point, we, we do plan to form partnerships with social networking sites. At least that's a goal, a long-term vision, definitely. You had mentioned that you're using Amazon Web Services. Why specifically did you choose them? No, well, it's just one example um, 
obviously we're going to uh, start some kind of a bidding and see where we get the best deal, but uh, off the top of my head it was a good example this year.